What's up YouTube and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the Raid Intel skips and black box locations on critical, regular and low for the raid starting on the 17th of September running through to the 23rd of September which is Project Titan Week 252. Thank you for your ongoing support of our channel. We always appreciate our fans and hope you'll continue to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already or even donate using the link in our description below. We make these Raid Intel and Black Box videos for you, and your support genuinely motivates us each week, which allows you to quickly complete the raids and collect the Black Boxes as soon as the Project Titan week begins. For Critical this week, the modifiers will be Darkest Night, Realistic Reload, and Limited Health Regen. So to begin, collect one intel from the Cold War site to the northwest of Gollum Island. Once you have that, you can input the password into the node at Heliport, which will grant access to Bow at the chemical refinery. And after destroying the tank Titan, you can advance into Sector 2. For Gargoyle, you'll need to press four nodes simultaneously. Two at Forgotten Sanctuary, and two at Testing Zone and Supercomputer will require you to defend the node in the Bunker of Missile Site Ruins. You can now fight both Titans in Sector 2, Gargoyle at Testing Zone, and Supercomputer at the Building in the Sea, before moving into Sector 3. For Cerberus you'll need to press four nodes at Lava Duct, which although technically locked can be accessed a number of different ways, including team wiping to the wall to the left of Lava Duct's Western Gate. However you choose, once you press the four nodes at Lava Duct, you'll have access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the Critical Raid. And if you're looking for the black boxes on Critical this week, there are two in Sector 1. The first at Satellite Dish, and the other is at Heliport. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Salamander, and the other at Missile Site Ruins. And finally there's two more in Sector 3. The first at Scandium Mine, with the other being a Prototype Workshop. In summary, the modifiers are pretty annoying this week, we think. Mainly because there are some that can trip you up if you forget about them. Take Limited Health Regen as an example, and it's easy to overlook your health between enemy encounters. So if you've taken damage in the first fight, you could easily find yourself downed in the next one, with what feels like one bullet. Therefore, we recommend carrying as many syringes as you can, and using them between battles, and even craft some between the sectors if there's time. As for the intel trail, it's a pretty decent week by all accounts, right the way from Sector 1 to the final Titan at the end of Sector 3. In fact, Bow in Sector 1 is the only boss that requires more than one task to be done before the Titan will spawn in, but even then it's a pretty simple collection of intel from an unguarded island. It should make this a fairly quick raid this time out, but the modifiers can make it a little bit harder. So as always, if you have any problems, please comment below and we'll try to help out, so you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular, and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel and black box locations. First, you can destroy four panels at Satellite Dish. This will open up the circle for Bow at the chemical refinery, and after defeating the boss here, you can advance into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires three intels at Testing Zone, before you can interrogate the Smoker at Forgotten Sanctuary. Now you can head back to Testing Zone to input the password into the node, and then fight Gargoyle there too. For Supercomputer you just need to destroy four panels, three of which are at Salamander, and the other one is at the checkpoint nearby. You can now destroy Quantum at the building in the sea. With both Titans defeated in Sector 2, you can progress into Sector 3. For Cerberus you'll need two intels at Scandium Mine, then you'll have to defend the node at Red Phoenix, before finally heading into No Man's Land to destroy the three panels. Doing those tasks will allow you to access the last Titan battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular and low raids. And if looking for the raid chests on regular or low this week, there are two black boxes in Sector 1, the first at Ancient Harbour, and the other at Chemical Refinery. Then there'll be two more in Sector 2, the first at Salamander and the next one at Forgotten Sanctuary. And finally there's two in Sector 3, the first at Scandium Mine, with the last one being at No Man's Land. That's all for now, 
We hope you've enjoyed our Intel and Black Box video enough to leave a like and comment. Plus subscribe or donate if you haven't already. Please also let your friends know about our channel because all of your support genuinely motivates us to make our content. So until next time, peace out, the unlucky lads.